Okay, so we're going to play some Hammer Time. Um, this is a YouTube-only video, so it's not on stream. Uh, sorry about that. But we are playing Hammer Time, and I don't know. It looks... I don't know. It looks pretty like this is the this is the list I found from today. Some kind of event that I found. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I guess I don't know what it looked like if it looked bad. Um, I really like this uh, this artifact, Manriki Gusari. Uh, destroy target equipment. Feels like a mirror breaker. Um, I don't know. Deck looks really cool. I'm pretty excited to play it. I've played it once. Um, like play testing with some of my buddies one time. Like one of my buddies had it and I played it, but that's um that's really the only time i've ever played it is just like goofing off a couple games here or there um so i don't know i'm interested to see i'm interested to see how this goes hopefully we can get some wins Found a game pretty quick. And the only times I've ever played against this deck is when I'm playing Burn. And every time I play against it, I'm always, uh, like, it's always very close. Um, like, Deflecting Palm is, like, really big. So I think we can keep this hand. Um, because the, here's the battlefield. Yeah, I think we can keep this hand. Like five lands could turn out to be really bad for us, but it feels okay. Play Sog on turn one so that we can go get the, um, so that we can go get Hammer as quickly as possible. Play Mim Knight, say go. Opt, sure. Scry's one card at the top, okay. We're going to attack here for one. Place a guard as aid. This feels like a counter spell. Yep. Equip the Shadow Sphere. I'll probably kill it in response, I imagine. Or maybe they'll let me crack in for two, I don't know. Okay. Maybe they only have Archmage's Charm. Okay, counter spell, sure. Then our Giver of Runes. This thought scour. Opt. Okay. I don't feel like this is Merc Tide because I feel like they should just be playing Thought Scour over Opt, but maybe they're playing both. And they bought them there. I looked in the chat, so.
So they are playing Murktide. About to get rid of all five cards in their graveyard and play one. Okay. We'll buy Laris and we'll say go. I don't think we have any main deck removal spells we can play. Okay. I only have three cards in hand, so I mean, us winning the game from here is not completely crazy. It can be done. They play a land. All right. Uh, let's play our Lurus. Hopefully they don't have a third counter spell. Possible, but Archmage's Charm. Cryptic? All right, I truly have no clue in hell what our opponent's doing. Um, they're, I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Like, they're playing Cryptic Command. And, like, I know there's, like, a Jeskai, like, control version, like, style of deck like this that played Cryptic Commands, but they haven't, like, fetched for a white. Like, I don't, maybe maybe this is, like, Blue Moon with Murktide. That's the only thing I can come up with. Yeah, that's that's all I got is that this is blue moon and Merc tide. We're gonna attack for three here. I well, can't cast Lightning Bolt here, so okay. Maybe they want to block the Esper Sentinel? Or maybe they'll just take three here because they think that they have super lethal on the way back. Because, I mean, that's exactly lethal for them on the way back. And we get to say go here. Maybe there's like some blue red control deck going around that plays Burke Tide that I'm unaware of. I mean, this maybe buys us two turns doing it this way, so. Draw a card. Okay. Just gonna hold the hammers here. 
Snapcaster, sure. You gonna bolt giver of runes? I mean, if not, it's bolt me, and that's extremely aggressive, so. It is bolt me. Okay. That's pretty aggressive. I don't know. Maybe I... I don't know about that one, but... I'm sure our opponent... I mean, it's their deck, not ours, so I'm sure they know what they're doing. Activate. Block. And then we're going to try and give it pro blue. It's pretty good to me. I bet they have another land in their hand. Okay, I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't think it's great or anything, but... Gives us the opportunity to equip here, and then we get to... Try to make the same play where we animate and block next turn, and then give pro blue. This kind of feels like the Alcide Luris combo, like, like in Auras in Pioneer. Kind of feels like what we got going on here, except it's just better. They stop in their draw step an awful lot. So Alabama opens up and rolls Miami. The Georgia-Clemson game just started just a few minutes ago. Texas beat Louisiana. You have to have... I guess you could have Snap Crypt. Snap Cryptic Command. You gonna tap my team and draw a card? Drawing Sigarda's aid would be sweet right here. Because they don't have enough cards, even if they do have Force of Negation. They only have one card in hand. Alright, well, that was dumb. Because now I get to give this pro blue. Yeah, you get to draw a card? But I still get to block here. That was dumb. Yeah, he should have... My opponent definitely should have... Um, tap the team draw card right there. Alright, Cigar is aid. One time, please. Or Pure Steel Paladin.
All right, I'm going to play this one. Next turn, we can start making constructs. I mean, we're like them breaking for a turn or two from us winning the game. Okay. Force of Negation, Javes the Mind Sculptor, and they draw a card. Okay. Force of Negation, Spell Snare, and they draw a card. They opt. Okay. Let's go. Let's see a bottom, please. That's one card on the bottom. They play the land they had in their hand. This feels like Blue Moon. Interesting. They don't attack. Last card was a counter spell. Okay, so we're gonna say go, and then as long as they brick, we 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 get this game. But they do have to brick here. And I guess they don't have to like brick brick or anything, but we need them to. Oh, wait a second, I'm done. We could have just won last turn. Yeah, that, that was complete misplay there, because we attack, um, we, well, no, we couldn't. They countered the Cigar to Zade, so never mind, it wasn't a complete punt. If we had resolved the Cigar to Zade, we slam the Colossus Hammer, we an or we animate Ink Moth next to slam the Colossus Hammer and then give it Pro Blue and attack. Yeah, this feels like it has to be Blue Moon. So it makes a 3-3. Three, three. Crystal Paladin's pretty good. Oh, you just keep hanging on, don't you? Isn't there a cryptic over there? Oh, there's not a cryptic. Okay, it's still it's still lethal though. Because we play this We give this pro blue and we get in for six. All right, it took a minute, but we ended up getting there. Man, did we have to grind that one out or what? That was just game one, too, it's the crazy part. Jesus. I don't think we want Needle or Void Mirror. I don't think we want Seal of Cleansing. I think we just want Path here. Like, I don't really think there's a need for anything else. Um, like, if they slam a Blood Moon, like, it's not the end of the world. Like, sure, it takes off a lot of our utility, but we play a lot of planes, so it's not like we won't be able to cast our spells. Um, Relic seems okay. Shadow Sphere seems good. I don't think we want Steel Shaper's Gift. Springleaf Drum lets us be explosive. I don't know, this is tough. Like, we're just gonna have to start shaving, I think. So we shave on a Stoneforge Mystic and we shave on an Esper Sentinel, I guess. Nah, Esper Sentinel's just, Esper Sentinel's just too good. 
Shadow Spear? Nah. Shave on a drum. I guess. I don't know. Giver of Runes is also really, really good. It helps protect our board, so I don't want to, like, board those out. Yep, this hand's really good. We're going to keep this. Memnite. I did this backwards, but we drew an extra one drop, so we might get built out. Make a white. Play Ornithopter. Say go. So we're basically playing Mono White Affinity this game. Okay. They fetch, they go to 19. We're going to attack for two and see what happens here. There's a saga. Tap this for a white. Play pure still paladin. So we get the draw card. Uh, Sigurd is good, but we need a hammer. I mean, I guess Urza Saga gets us a hammer. And I get Mimnite and Esper Sentinel for two cards because it's divided. Fire, fire side of fire and ice is divided. Oh man! And they just say go. Get you. We're gonna say go and just use the Urza Saga. I think we like. I think we're just like getting really good value out of them just having to dump their counter spells because they're not like they're not getting to use them. No, no. I, I just hit two on accident. Please just let me get held out here. Fuck. All right. Well, I hate when I do that, but whatever. Alright, so we get to make a 3-3, three, three, and then this makes that a 4-4. Four, four. I think it's better to get a hammer here. 
I don't know, I could be wrong, but it feels better to get a hammer, because if we can resolve Paladin, plus if we ever draw another land, we're just kind of rolling. Resolving Paladin would be pretty good. Of course, if we draw land here, we get to play Esper Sentinel, then play Paladin, so... Man, we just can't catch a break, can we? We're going to attack for four and see what they do. I mean, they're at 15. They're probably just going to take four here, but... The fact that he's a human is pretty cool. Now we're going to say go. Curious to know what's in their hand. And maybe they have like a pyroclasm or something. Interesting. Anger? That sweeps the board, I think. And if they're smart, they'll pay one to not let me draw a card. I mean, I guess unless they have like a... Definitely would have attacked with a Snapcaster Mage first, but... That's tough. We haven't drawn a third land all game. Cast a guard as aid. This has to be Blue Moon, like. Five five Merc Tide's pretty good. Let's go, no counter spell. Oh, what? All right. Springleaf Drum, now we equip for zero. I obviously didn't count. Wasn't paying attention. All right. And we have Path next turn, so we can clear the way. <sighs> Lord. He dot sours himself. It's forced land. I mean, his last two cards could be good. It's hard to tell. You never know. Merktide number two. Okay, so that Merc Tide turns into a 7-7, seven, seven, which makes that a 5-5. Five, five. Which means path number two is what we want. <laughs> We're going to attack here and see what they do. They put both in front, we're going to pass one because there's nothing they can do about it. And that pretty much locks up the game, I feel like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter.
We're going to six here because there's nothing we can do to like to put Lyris into our hand, but we can't. I wonder why humans isn't being played right now. Humans with Esper Sentinel seems like it wouldn't be that bad, honestly. I mean, maybe I'm horribly wrong. I don't know, but it seems like humans is in a decent spot right now. Okay. Okay, so they had Blood Moon and that was it. Yeah, so I knew it was Blood Mo it was Blue Moon. I mean, I, I didn't know that, but it really felt like it was Blue Moon, especially the longer the game went on. Like, because they just had a bunch of blue cards, and then they just had, like, bolts and stuff. So, I don't know. It felt like Blue Moon. I'm not going to lie. Blue Moon with Murktide actually seems pretty decent. I really like the... I really like Blood Moon in general, honestly. We are going to keep this. And then we're going to play Esper Sentinel into Giver of Runes next turn. I'd prefer to block with the Midnight here. I'm happy to trade the Midnight, um, but we will chump with the Esper Sentinel if we need to. I don't know. Esper Sentinel and Shardless Agent just feel kind of good. Like it humans. I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong. Protection from white. All right. Card seems pretty good. Ah, they're playing Mardu. Okay, I I so I knew that car had like kicker and all that kind of stuff, like, but I didn't know it had pro white. It's pretty interesting. <sighs> Lord, and holy heat, targeting giver of runes. Are you gonna pay? We're going to give this pro red. Actually, we're going to give it pro black. I'm Definitely blocking. Okay. Yes. All right, take 11. Let's do it. And then next turn, we have Hammer number two coming off of our Urza Saga. So I don't know. It feels like we're in a decent spot. Oh, I didn't update the... Nope, not that. The win-loss. 
We are 1-0 in our modern league here with Hammer Time. Oh boy. Destroy that, kill that, all right. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thought sees me? Okay. So we draw Ink Moth Nexus. Just gonna make a car instruct here. Get a hammer. Yep. Play our Ink Moth Nexus. We're going to attack for 11. Um, that thing's gonna die. And this is the spot we're sitting in. Okay. I mean. Like, unless, like, they've already had a cake in hand. So, like, unless, like, you know, their last two cards are pretty good here. Like, don't get me wrong. They could definitely have cards to get them out of this. But the way they're, the way the game started for us and them, like, feels like we were set up on a winning trajectory. Okay. Okay. I mean, normally I think pro-white would be good against a lot of the things we're doing here, but it feels like it's just really not. Yeah, it was like he's forced to block, and Dothy can block. Like, this has been the only time that Dothy has just not been, like, running me over because I couldn't block it, so. All right. So they have Prismatic Ending, but Sanctifier and Vec is still, like, still probably going to clean house. Dranith Magistrate? Um, I don't know if we really, like, what, what else would that card be for? Can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. I don't know, these six cards feel fine. Um, Relic? I think they play DRC. I mean, maybe we do want it, because... Like, oh, no, you want this for, um, uh, that's a hate card for, uh, God, I'm trying to think of it right now, the Living In deck and uh, Rhino's deck. That's pretty cool. I didn't think about that. Okay, we don't want Steel Shaper's Gift. I think we can shave. We're going to have to just shave cards here. Like, that's all there is, is, like, we're just shaving cards. Yeah, like, just shave cards here. Like, that's all I really know to do in, like, spots, like, with decks like this. Like, when you start playing these, like, four ofs, 
Like, I've played Burn enough to know, like, what's bad and what's not in a lot of spots. But, like, when I'm playing decks like this, I don't really know. So I just stick to my dredge. Ooh, to my dredge strategy, and I just shave numbers left and right. Uh, this hand's really good. We have Mimnite and Esper Sentinel, so... people do yield until next in step okay so that's why that's how people do that <sighs> a mardu triumph okay it's definitely going to be prismatic ending is it on the Esper Sentinel? Yep, okay. And they're going to pay the one? Okay, see, that's great, because unless they have another one in their hand, we have Sanctifier in Vec. Which is really good for us. And... Going to attack with the Mimnite. I would attack with the Ornithopter, just because, like, I like to click, like, attack all and just, like, wall send it, but... Pillage. Alright, they're on some interesting stuff here. I don't think decks like this are really playing like Anger of the Gods or, you know, or anything like that, so I'm not super worried about a sweeper here. Question is, are you paying one for the bobble? Yes, okay. It's like, because if not, you're just giving me a card. Like, Esper Sentinel is such a good magic card. Hmm. That's a tough scene. Well, we've only had two lands so far, which is kind of surprising. We are playing 22, but... DRC, okay. I feel like it's pretty clear that they don't have another prismatic ending. Or maybe they do when I spoke too soon. Alright, so I get to draw a card. Okay. I mean, DRC still doesn't turn into a 3-3 here because of Sanctifier. All right, tag for two, put you to seven. And then next turn we have Shadow Spear to put, we can play the Shadow Spear and put it on, actually if we draw a land, we can Stoneforge into Hammer. Ah, uh, that messed up, they left the, oh, they left Vanishing, well, Vanishing Verse isn't, Cigar is eight, okay. This is an interesting deck that they're playing. If we draw a land, we can still... Stoneforge Mystic, yes. Let's get a Colossal Hammer. Let's attack for two. Now, them playing baubles and drawing cards every turn isn't great for us. Um, 
cool thing is that unless yeah like even them playing their lyrics here unless they draw into a prismatic ending which is possible like they've been surveilling quite a bit and doing things um puts one card on top of their library they did that rather quickly so it might be that if we draw a land here we can just go um Yeah, if we draw a land here, we just get to play Paladin and Hammer and win. Unless they have like an Abrade or an Artifact Removal spell of some kind. Well? So I'm going to say go here, because if it's not Prismatic Ending, we just win. Now, they did surveil to the top very quickly, but they've also surveilled to the top a few times now. They drew off the bobble. They left that card on top. Oh no, they put Inquisition in their yard. They might have put something else in their yard. No, so they left it on top. All right, hopefully there's no prismatic ending in my future here. Because if there's not, we have a win. Yeah, I'm just going to six here. I don't have anything to do. Surveils Inquisition into the yard. It's kind of funny because if you'd kept Inquisition on top, you might have actually like gotten out of this. Because of pure still paladin. Ugh. Is this vanishing verse again or is this ending actually? Feels like ending with the amount of time it's taking. Dang. Yep, that's what we were trying to dodge. Yep, they go to eight, and then... I don't know what the last two cards in their hand are, but as long as they don't have a removal spell here... We can Paladin and then quit both. They have to pick here, though. I mean, I guess they could have, like, Cake Command here and blow me out. Okay. All right. Um, that's interesting. No, I mean, I get it. They have to kill the paladin or else they just... I just keep getting to re-equip things if they don't have another removal spell. But at the same time, like... Now you have to have K Command basically. K Command or Vanishing Verse doesn't even do it. Prismatic Ending does it. Yeah, but unless you have a removal spell here, like that's cool and all, but like unless you have a removal spell here, it doesn't matter. God, do they have a third Prismatic Prismatic Ending now? Of course. They don't draw one all those turns and they draw a third one the friggin' turn we don't need them to. All right, they're down to one card here. Definitely would have dashed the Ragavan, but... We're gonna get a hammer. There's no point in playing it yet because we are holding out for Sigarda's Aid and or Pure Steel Paladin.
What is it? Permits your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Okay. I should probably actually keep that in mind. I don't know when it'll come up, but it might come up that our opponents use indestructible for something. You've drawn 100,000 removal spells. I mean, you've drawn three prismatic endings and before you've even gotten halfway through your deck, so I, I would call that more than lucky. Like, that is that is very good. We're going to hop in front here. Just gonna say go. Maybe Saga can bail us out of this. Maybe we don't need prismatic ending or or not prismatic ending, but maybe we don't need um aid or anything. Yep. They have to have a removal spell here, right? I'm okay with going to five. Man, that's not what I wanted. All right. Well, our opponent drew very, very, very well. Um, which I mean is is fine. It's to be expected. Um, I don't think relic is necessary, but I think having fourth pure steel paladin to like make magic happen is pretty good there. We just needed one more turn of them not having prismatic ending to win the game, um, is the funny part. Yeah, I like this hand. Our opponent goes to six. We're gonna play Esper Sentinel in case they have like Inquisition or Thoughtseize or something to play. Like, I don't want them to have. If they're gonna play something on turn one that's not a creature, I want them to make sure that they that they let us draw a card. Could have upkeep done it, but I think I'll just wait. Path that. We don't want that thing sticking around. Pro 
Oxa. We're gonna pitch our Ink Moth Nexus here. Now we get to we get to do quite a bit here. Okay. They shock it in. They play explosives on one. Let us draw a card. Okay. 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 I mean, it's going to pop EE here. Like. See, that's fine because now it just allows us to get hammer next turn. Like, I th I'm honestly, I think we had to get Hammer there, because if not, I don't see him, I don't see him popping it without us getting Hammer. Just gonna six, there's nothing I can do here. He shocks in again with one card in his hand. Is he gonna get Luris and play something else? Okay. I assume you're gonna get lures. Yeah. Okay. Back for 18. All right. Thanks for playing. It's taking a minute to win these games here, but we are getting there. Man, OBS is lagging really hard right now. All right, we're 2 and 0. The Rivals Gauntlet concludes tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So, all right, we get to watch more magic tomorrow starting at lunchtime. Um, I think this ends pretty good. I don't know if having double pure steel paladin is the best, but 
probably rather have like a like an S per Sentinel or something like that right there. Okay, prismatic ending. Yes. We are going to get a Colossus Hammer. We're going to play this and we're going to say go. Now the downfall here is that we don't have three artifacts. We also don't have double white, which proposes a small issue. We're going to fire up the Ink Moth Nexus. We're going to attack for two. This feels like a Lightning Helix or something, but. Fire and ice. Play Mim play Mim Knight, play Colossal Hammer, Colossus Hammer. Been oh God, some guy was saying Colossal Hammer at some event I went to last week, and it's been in my head that way, and it. Serve up two. I doubt he's playing Absorb, but I mean, you never know. Thought Scour? Okay, so they're playing Merc Tide in some fashion. Yeah, they're about to tap out for one. Or not tap out for one, but they're about to play one, I think. This feels like Just Guy Merc Tide. There's two counter spells in their yard, so the odds of them having one is not very high, but it is possible. Got an 8 8 already, Jesus. Pure Still Paladin. So they do have a counter spell. Okay. Well, that's three counter spells we've seen so far, so. Serving up eight. All right, your hand's pretty good then if you're serving up eight. says go so it could be like cryptic command counterspell number four okay then And of course, it's the one I just played. 
Alright, so one thing I really hate about Moto is that it never really shows me what it's doing. Alright, well... I don't know, we need this to be something good. And I need them to not have a bolt. I need them to not have a burn spell. And I need to draw something really, really good. Leaves your graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, no. Okay. What does that say? Gain control of target non-land permanent. Fairy is fine. Okay. Have a petty theft or a fire ice or something. Okay. Seems good. Player casts a spell. Alright, that's not going to be good. Seal of Cleansing, Duranith Magistrate's not going to do us any good. Path isn't going to do us any good. Well... Path is arguable, because they are playing the annoying thing. I think Needle's good here to bring in. We don't want the gift. I don't think we want the relic. I think we can shave a mystic and a memnite. Memnite. Yeah, yeah, alright. Try it like that and see what happens. Wow, the score is 0-0 zero, zero of the Georgia Clemson game. I'm pretty surprised. Number three versus number five. Jack Podlesny, Podlesny misses 36-yard field goal. That was from the Georgia game. Apparently the Georgia kicker missed a 36-yard field goal. Alright, we're just we're just gonna go for it here. We're just gonna play Giver of Runes and then on turn two try to aid into hammer. Like they probably have a removal spell of some variety here, but we're just gonna go for it.
No bolt, please. Alright, he has a bolt. Like, you had to have bolt here specifically. That sucks. Maybe it was better to... I don't know. I, I don't know. Because now they just have counter spell at the ready, and so there's nothing we can do from here. So, I was like, this should work, in theory. Because last time we did it the other way. But I need to remember, it's always the land on the bottom that you can actually use. To flip over Wear Terror, Fire and Ice. To flip over Flood of Strand, Lightning Bolt. They find an island, okay. That was dumb. I'm gonna name to Fairy here. Actually, I'm gonna name Jace. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I don't know if it's in their deck at all, but we're gonna name it regardless. Slowly but surely, we're gonna try and chip away their life total here, or their infect total with these damn ink moth nexuses. Kind of like to see him go for a Merc Tide here. Which it appears he's going to. Okay. They don't have any white mana, so we might be helping them out here by giving them a planes. If they even play a basic planes. <coughs> All right, well, right now this is the game plan because we have path as backup. And expressive iteration, yep. Oh. All right, our opponent's in the tank here. Wonder if anybody scored or if it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Georgia finally scored. Georgia finally put points on the board. Georgia scores on 74-yard pick six. Wow. That's insanity right there. Feels like another Merc Tide. Alright. Land? Ugh. Well, we're doing it. Slowly but surely, we're doing it.
I mean, they probably have an answer or something they can do here, but <clears throat> something happens and they try to put another Merc Tide into play. We have another answer, so I mean... Plus, if we draw a land, we're attacking for three each turn instead of two, so there is that. <sighs> oh, wow, about to draw two cards with an Archmage Charm during your main phase. Wow. Their deck is doing everything it can right now to help us out. Attack for two. You don't have a bolt, okay? So we're gonna play our giver of ruins, second main phase here, and say go. Man. This has this has been doing it the hard way. We are one attack step away from making this happen. Ooh. I think Giver of Ruins might have actually been a really clutch draw. I'm also truly amazed that there are 30, like that there are 29 cards in their deck and haven't seen a white source. Did they flip over any? They flipped over two fetch lands. Okay. Oh, they are going to play a Merc Tide. Well, well, well. Now the good news about this is, is that I have a path for it, so it doesn't even matter. I thought I was sitting awful, awfully low. Makes more sense as to why I felt that way. I was sitting very low. All right, well, we ended up coming away with that game, even though it was complete garbage and we shouldn't have. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, feels pretty good the way it is. Like, It's possible. I was looking at two wear tears, two snaps, and two prismatics. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I, I, I get it. I was, yeah, like, truly, I understand his frustration there. Um, so. I completely, utterly understand his frustration. Because, I mean, if he was holding two wear tears, I mean, if he was really holding all that, then it's amazing I didn't lose earlier. Yeah, I think this hand's worth keeping. Be a lot cooler if it had Nerza Saga in it, but you know, you can't win them all. I mean, double Pure Steel Paladin, double Stone Forge feels pretty good to me. Seems like it just allows us to have the most optimal cards. <sighs> I'm curious to see if you counterspell this. Like, if you do, I'm cool with that. If you don't, I'm cool with that too. Like, because I want this card, but at the same time, if you do, I get to slam my Stone Forge Mystic. Part of me wonders if I would rather have my Stone Forge Mystic, but. Yeah. 
Yes. We want to get our hammer. Luxon tells me he meant to tap red for that. Wonder if he's gonna. Okay. I mean, I guess pure still paladin number three is good. Like, I don't know. Like, if we don't ever get into a turn where we can, like, play multiples and equip in the same turn, it's never gonna matter. Now that's interesting. He might counter this because, I mean, I don't know, like, there is a difference between me having one hammer and having two hammers, like. After combat, we're going to slam this Agarda's aid. I am curious to see if he counters this. With three pure steel paladins in my hand, I was like, I really don't care if you counter this. But if you don't, more the better for me. Wonder if, yeah, I was like, it's probably, they're probably gonna wear tear here. It's like he was probably, they were probably okay with me having the cigar as aid because they knew they could wear tear. Cast Colossal Hammer. Cast Pure Soul Paladin. This is going to eat a counter spell. Okay. We're going to attack for two. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, Kataki. Jesus Christ. Thank God he didn't have that. That would have, like, just ended the game. Cast Pure Steel Paladin. Alright. I mean... Like, this is how these games go. Bolt one of them? Okay, so he's down to three cards. That's good, though, because it means that at some point, like, he's either likely to run out of counter spells, or, I mean, something. Alright, he's looking for cards in his main phase, because he's run out of things to do. That or he's really wanting to like load up on uh, uh, Merktide Regent. This feels like desperation though. Okay, Merktide Regent it is, not desperation. The good news is that he's tapped out though. Thought he was tapped out. Okay, so he, he is going to play the Merktide Regent. Uh, he can't decide if he wants to or not. He's going to say go. Hold up Counterspell here. He has a Counterspell for this. Which seems likely. Maybe he has a removal spell. Okay. A 
and then we're going to put Lurus in our hand and say go. Which is pretty good, because we can Lurus and Paladin in the same turn. So, Ornithopter or Mimnite allows us to win the game off the top here. Oh, he has double Merc Tide, so no, it doesn't. Okay. Chalice on one. So, it still does. He has no cards in hand, so... I'm just gonna say go. I don't want to play into a Supreme Verdict. Okay. And he concedes. All right. So we pick up the the win to be three and zero. These games have been very grindy with the old hammer time deck, but we are three and zero, so I can't complain too much. Just it's been taking a minute to do all of this. Ooh, let's see what Seth Manfield said. Can't retrieve this tweet at this time. Alright, well, I guess he didn't say anything then. Georgia, 7-0 at halftime. It's a, it's a pretty big one. All right, here we go. So we have no white mana. Not gonna lie, I think I'd keep this if, if one of those sagas was a plains. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to mulligan too. I mean, or is Urza's or is Saga just good enough to win off the back of? Like, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to mulligan this. I think this hand's a lot better. I think we can keep this and put... Put a Saga back. Because you need double white, and plus we'll only ever get to activate one of the Saga... Like, one Saga at a time, unless we wait long enough. We're playing against Burn. Rift Bolt, okay. Play Mem Knight, play Esper Sentinel. Probably gonna Rift Bolt the es Esper Sentinel, or maybe he has Searing Blaze and he doesn't care about giving me a card. He's going to kill it, but give me a card anyway. Okay, that's interesting. This Mardu burn list is going around. This is the second time I've played it today. Italon, okay. Shadow Spear is not what I wanted. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's not it's not an issue or anything, but it's not what I wanted. 
So if he attacks, I am going to double block here. Or is he just bolting one of the things here? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to block. I don't think it's right to block here. We are going to go to 12 here. Okay, two cards in hand. We go to 10, he's at 13. Follow up idol would be pretty buff, rough for us here. They're drawing a card, which feels pretty promising. Okay. Yep. Yes, I would like to draw a card. And they're going to concede because I'm going to gain a bajillion life this turn. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right, so that was, I'm not going to lie, I, I was kind of sweating that one for a minute. Um, we want Path. We want Sanctifier and Vec. I don't really think we want anything else. Cards that do not seem great are Relic. Um, probably Shave on a Stone Forge Mystic. Probably cut a giver of runes. The Steel Shaper's gift for sure. Like, I understand their value, but like, they just... I don't know. They're not great. We want, we want high impact cards in this matchup. So our opponent keeps seven. I think we got a mulligan this. I think we mulliganed into a much better hand than we had, so. Rift Bolt, okay. Drawing Path is very good. We're going to play Esper Sentinel and again force them to give us a card or pay mana. Like either way, Esper Sentinel is great in this matchup. I'm telling you, I'm really thinking that. I'm really starting to think that like humans with Esper Sentinel and, and um, the three drop. Shardless Agent would be really good right now. Could, I could be wrong, I don't know, but it feels feels like that would be pretty solid. Eidolon, okay. We 
We're just gonna say go. I'm gonna see if they play anything. I haven't seen Bobbles or anything, so I don't think they're playing Monkey, but... Okay, second Eidolon's not great for us. So we're gonna have to take this hit here, um, and then make a token, and then upkeep, make a token. Or, I mean, draw a step, make a token, and then... Try to do it that way. Okay. Now three cards in their hand. We may be making a token to block with this turn. Like it, I mean, if they're if, like Boros Charm Bolt's pretty bad. Okay, I mean maybe they have Deflecting Palm in their hands. Like a lot of people have been playing Deflecting Palm lately, which it's really good. I can't blame them. gonna get shadow spear we have to go to 11 and then we have to go to 7 So we're at 11 and we have a blocker. Like double Eidolon's been pretty backbreaking here, but it's also backbreaking for them at this point. Like we're kind of in a spot where if they can't kill us this turn, we might can just race and beat them. Okay, so them fetching scares me a little bit. Oh, please shock here. And if you go to eight, you can't cast two spells, you die. So they go to six. We go to eight. A lot of the stage does not kill us. And they can't play anything else. Man, three, five, seven, put us to one and then you're dead. All right, cool, thanks for playing. We did it. Now see, if that would have been like another, like a shard volley or a, another burn spell, I can't remember what, what people cut to put that lot up the stage in there. But when I was looking at that Mardu burn list, when it was winning, people were playing a one of lot up the stage. And I remember saying, I do not like that lot up the stage. I, I don't like a lot up the stage of modern. I I don't know. Like, that card was phenomenal and standard. Light Up the Stage was unbelievable and standard. That card won me so many games. And then we took Light Up the Stage to Pioneer. It's had a really good showing. It draws you cards. It has a lot of great value. It's, it plays really well with Goblin Chain Whirler and other cards like that in that format that are playable. 
I've tried to play it modern multiple times. It is not from a lack of testing. It's just not good enough. Like it just is not good enough. Just like period. Like I don't I don't know how else to like say that to people. Like like a lot of the stage is not good enough for for modern. Not at this time anyway. Like, you know, you could probably talk me into a metagame where you end up playing um a lot of the stage in like a DRC deck. Like in a like yeah, in a in a Dragon's Race Chandler deck. Somewhere with like baubles and stuff where like it's really like card advantage heavy. Um I don't know. Like in like in a metagame where like blue white control is like really favorable or something, like you could probably talk me into that. But until we get to that point, no, absolutely not. But that Mardu burn list is really picking up. I'm seeing that Mardu burn list around a lot. Um, we're 4-0, oh, um, which is kind of surprising considering how like little I've ever played this deck. I was just kind of expecting to not have... Like, I figured this would be like a 3-2 like a or 2-3 league, if I'm being honest with you guys. But... Um... But, I mean, I don't know. We're 4-0. We're playing for a trophy right now. It'll be my first trophy all season, so it'd be kind of nice. Play Lyris. Um, yeah, this is good because it allows us to play three cards on turn one. Sadly, that is what I base most of my hands off all the time. Like how f how high functioning is my first one to two turns of the game. Um, and they feel very high functioning right now, so... Pretty happy about this. It appears our opponent is AFK at the moment, so. I had no idea there was, I had no idea there was, um, like, what, 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 what's it called, like, paralegic, or, I, I don't know, like, when, when your legs don't work, or quad, quad, quadraplegic, I didn't realize that was, um, I didn't realize that was, a. volleyball sport i was just reading on twitter that it's that it's the the men's or maybe it was the women's but it was the u.s versus china for um for gold all right Ketria Trium. I wonder if this is creativity. I haven't played against it this league yet, but it is pretty popular, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is it. I don't think that's it with a Misty Rainforest. I'm going to attack for one and see what happens. Still Shaper's Gift. Okay. Slam a Colossus, Colossus Hammer. Let's 
Slam a shadow sphere. Okay. So if we draw land, we can go... Any land will do, actually, where we can play Pure Steel Paladin and Ink Moth Nexus and try to equip all in the same turn. Let the Boulder Esper... Dead? Dead gone. Okay, and he's gonna pay. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like all these split cards coming to Modern because it, like, it adds a lot of, like, interesting things that I'm not used to playing around. So this is Rhinos. Like, no doubt about it, this is just Rhinos. Sorry, my mom was texting me. So unfortunately we can't have our cake and eat it too here. All right, let's try to equip Colossus Hammer. You gonna stomp this in response? Okay. I mean, it's fine because it means that they're not... I guess I should have tried to equip it to the Ornithopter because he's forced to pick that way. That was really a bad decision, I feel like, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. All right, let's see what we got. Sorry, I'm texting my mom about something. There's some family stuff going on. So if I'm quiet or if I'm looking at my phone or anything, that's why, just a heads up. All right, we're gonna go for it this time. Go for it the correct way this time. All right. I don't know if Rhinos or her Hammer Time is favored in this matchup. I've never seen this matchup. I've never played it. This brazen borrower. I'm gonna do my yield through this turn because if he's doing something in my combat phase, then 
Like, cool. Alright. Now brazen borrow or something. Okay. I guess if he does that and draws into a removal spell or has a removal spell, he can slam it, which it feels like he does. Fury. Okay. Fury is pretty good. Okay. Well, let's serve up one infect. Let's try to let's try to make it work here. I don't know. This doesn't this doesn't feel like uh like it's really going our way so far. But it feels like we're always just kind of one or two draw steps away. Alright. We're gonna throw the Ornithopter in front, save six damage here. Pure Steel Paladin number three would be mighty good right here. Mighty, mighty, mighty good. He must have something if he's not playing his Bone Crusher Giant or his Brazen Borrower here. Or maybe he's just going to flash in his Brazen Borrower. So we have to draw land here to make it work. Because we have to be able to lure us and Paladin in the same turn. No. It's not what I wanted. Or... Yeah, it is. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Play Relic. Not because Relic's like going to super impact the board or anything, but... It does give us like an out. Like if we don't draw a land, it gives us an out of peeling into a hammer. Is he debating whether he should force a negation this or something? So he's attacking for 8, 14, 16. Jesus. Means he can put us to 4 here. Which is funny because the Brazen Borrower is actually going to make it 19. Alright, now we're going to say go. I mean, they're just going to hit like a... He hits crashing footfalls. Okay, that's weird, but whatever. Six, eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen.
Yep. Oh, he's gonna play his Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Land, please. Wait a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter, does it? No counter spell, please. Come on. Okay, well, we're here now. I don't know what their last two cards are, but... So Brazen Borrow or Attacking plus Double Stomp would have to be what he would have to do here. It's actually been a really close game so far. So we can actually win next turn with the Ink Moth Nexus because we can animate it, equip everything, animate it again, attack, and then trample over the Brazen Borrower. I can't Brazen Borrower back to our hand, so that's good. Feels like as much as they're tanking, we might, uh, we might actually be going to get out of this one, but I'm not sure. There could be a line here, and they just haven't found it yet. Come on, dude. Make a decision. It's the worst part about playing Moto. We always end up sitting here watching somebody else play. Oh. 4 0, though. It's been a pretty good league so far. I can't tell if I've drawn that well or if this Hammer Time deck is just honestly that good. Because I don't feel like I've really played that well or that tight or technical. Like, I just feel like it's panned out. Okay, he says go. Cast Esper Sentinel. We're just going to go for it.
Oh, man. Cannot believe we got out of that. That was wild. Okay, your opponents can't cast... Oh, we definitely want this card. We want it to beat up on the Rhinos. Whenever a player casts a spell of no colored mana was meant to cast it, counter that spell. This also seems very good for us. No, I don't want that. I do want Void Mirror, though. Um, Giver of Runes seems good. We don't care about Relic. They don't. Their graveyard's irrelevant. We can cut a Stoneforge Mystic. And we can probably cut a Mimnite. Because they do a lot of stuff that can actually pick off our stuff, so... Um, yeah, this hand seems good. Doesn't seem great, but it seems good. Seems worth keeping, because on turn one, we can play Esper Sentinel. Um, and our opponent's also down a card. Him being on six is pretty good. Now see, this is the spring leaf drum is awesome. You always play the spring leaf drum, blah, 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 spring leaf drum before you play the ornithopter because they can kill your ornithopter in response if you don't. So uh, probably something that most people know, but something I, I learned a long time ago playing Affinity back in the day. So just good little tidbit of information. Okay. So we're going to attack with the Esper Sentinel. Um, we're going to play the Giver of Runes. Play the Saga. Use our Saga to play the Drum. And say Go. It's quite a few f artifacts, so we can start using Urza Saga pretty, uh, pretty well. Just start pushing stuff out if we need it here. Well, that's pretty bad. That's going to pick off our, well, most of our board. Not all of it, but. He's probably going to get the Esper Sentinel and the Giver of Runes and leave the Ornithopter. And, yeah, that's what I imagined he would do so that he can clear the way for his, um, his Cascade this turn. Whoa. Or he doesn't have a third land. That's cool, too. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not going to complain. All right, well. Uh, 
Okay, all right. I mean... Okay. Draw. Okay, we're going to get a Shadow Spear. We're going to play a Sigarda's Aid. Okay. Just gonna pass because we can't do anything else here and we're just gonna wait and play both of our hammers at instant speed our opponent's taken forever here he finally has a third land even if he has something All right, I'm honestly not scared of that at all. Like, I just kind of hope he doesn't have force negation here so that we can cast our hammer. Not gonna lie, it feels like we're close to our first 5-0 this, this season. So we actually don't even have to equip the other one to anything else. We just basically have to put like Shadow Spear on it and then hold up to... Okay, 